Hey guys, this week, pans get floored and wells get wheeled. Wait a second. Hey guys, welcome to Alchemy Motorsports, where we are working on a 1971 travel all that we have cut the bottom out of. We are stacking it on top of a 2003 Tahoe. Floor pan, interior, all of it. The entire thing. Last week, we finished up a bunch of the details on the custom lower quarter here on the back end. We got the floor drop down built in, tidied up a few other things that are under there. So that brings us to this week, where my goal is to get the floor pans built. Here at the back end of the travel all, there's about a foot between the end of the Tahoe floor pan and the actual back of the travel all here. So I need to build new floor pans that fill in all of that section. So that's what we're going to be working on this week. If you missed last week, you want to go ahead and catch up, link up in the corner here. It'll take you to the last video that I put out. And if you're new here, you want to see where we've started and how far we've come, look down in the description. There's a link to the entire playlist for Project Tahoe. I've never made any kind of floor pan before. So all you guys stick around, join me as I try to figure out just exactly how this is supposed to work. I have to move all my measurements by three quarters of an inch because I forgot to account for the lip that I want to turn up on this side. So I'm making a three quarter inch turn up. I'll cut a section out of this and I'll cut there, cut there, cut this deeper, all so that I can move the entire panel farther in. It's obviously still plenty ugly, plenty of work to do on it. This over here is nowhere near the right shape at all, but a lot of this is pretty done. I do have one thing left right here. I want to turn down a flange that will then weld to the outside of this. Right here. I'll probably just end up kind of backfilling a little bit with weld. But I think that's coming together pretty well. That gives me my corner floor pan. And then I just need to, I guess, what do I want to do next? Maybe I'll start on the center section here. 
I'll plan on making, this is about 14 inches. Well, no, I cut it back. So, that's probably about 13 inches or so wide. So I'll plan to make that side 13 inches or so wide as well. So that should give me a measurement here through the middle from over here to wherever this one ends. And I can sort of rig up a panel that will fill that space. few last touch-ups over here. I think I'm going to break that fold down into it so that the tailgate can close with that in place. And we will go from there. of overlap or so underneath and I'm just gonna spot weld down across the whole thing this is gonna be a flange folded over this will get butt welded just because there's this weird contour here and I didn't want to spend the time trying to recreate it and it's not rusted out and then for additional strength in this section of floor pan, I also had one other thought. does bow a little bit if I put all my weight where it's supported. It definitely bows where it's not supported here, but I think once it's all welded in, should be pretty strong. And I think that flange is going to work perfectly, so we're good there. Here, but I can't really build that until I move the travel all so that I can really get in under that corner. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. Now that I've got these basically figured out, I think it might be about time I try to figure out those wheel arches again.
need to cut this really just this extra piece off and remove this inner flange here and then basically cut this back down all the way till it's at the height where the Dakota fender well is and see if I can do something with that that's one option I don't know. maybe a better option would be to trace along the inside here and then cut this off and then try to come mostly vertical against this so it follows the shape of the body quite a bit more and then just bring this whole piece up till it's high enough I can start mating them together if I cut too much and I screw it up I'm not gonna have anything left to work with though all right you know what screw it I'm gonna try that all right there is nothing left now So there is basically a template for the piece I need around the inside of that. I'll leave it a little big everywhere so that I can fit it in and trim it up. Let's get that cut. Off camera I did a couple of test fits and cleaned up a bit here and a bit there. And then I also ground it back so that it's clean and ready to weld. However, I think I basically fit it the wrong way because it doesn't really seem like it fits what I need right now. Damn it! All right, we're gonna make a few tacks and see if we can make something work. But there's a good chance this uh, is gonna need a lot more work. Holy crap. So I'm gonna go through tack this all together better. I'm not going to fully weld it or anything, but I am going to get it tacked together better, get a little bit of filler in these really big gaps where I just totally screwed the pooch on the shape. It's definitely not flat, but it is flat-ish. Panel is back in. Everything looks pretty good except for this bottom corner. It gets a little close to the body, so I may have to kind of bend this to put a little bit of angle on that bottom corner. But overall, it looks pretty good. Let's get this. Oh, one handed wheel well placement not going well. Ah, come on. Well, that's kind of sort of like where it goes. So, what we're going to be looking at is going straight across from this 
flat spot up here over to that. And you can see all the way around, it looks like it should come out plenty far enough. So we're good on that. So hopefully I can just use a flat piece to come up over all of this and just trim it to shape along the body itself. Had a buddy over today, we were just kind of hanging out, tinkering with it, goofing around. So I haven't done any filming, so let's catch you guys up. It's really not that much farther when you look at it, but it took a lot of effort. So, wheel well is just tacked in place. There's like five or six tacks around the inside. Just hold it down. And then I just cut a fat strip and contoured it all the way along to that back edge. And you can see I don't have fitment quite perfect. It just needs to be pushed down a little bit, but everything's good that way. And it's just vice gripped into place. So that is how we're going to build this from the inside. I'm going to run a row of spot welds all the way down and leave this actually as a lap weld. They overlap by like an inch to an inch and a half. And I'm just going to leave it that way. And then back here, I will just come along all of this. I'm probably just going to leave this flange more or less. It doesn't really matter. So why go to the effort to cut it out? And weld all the way along it. Get that all put together. And then we jump around to underneath it. And you can see just a nice big flat wheel well over here. Darn it. I still have this opening. So here's the bottom of my new wheel well patch. I have all of this that I had to figure out what I'm going to do. And I think what I'm going to do is extend the inner wheel well lip. So I have an inner wheel well lip all the way down and then extend that backward. So I can just bring this down and a flat, just basically a flat plate that goes from this edge of Tahoe right here all the way over and will connect to the inner wheel well just like this does. And same thing on this side. I'll have to build a lip that will go down behind all of this and then it will extend backward so that I can connect from this and just come straight down to build in a panel to block off the interior of the body. That panel will probably come around back here some just to create a nice blocked area protecting a lot of that crap from just junk getting thrown back in there. It's been like six months coming trying to figure out what I was going to do in a way that would make me happy and look nice and work. So I'm really, really happy with how this is coming together. There's still a crazy amount of work to actually build these wheel wells the way I want them to be, but at least I know what I'm doing and that's a huge step in the right direction.
So my plan was to loosely assemble it all like this and then see if I could get it completely out of the Tahoe for finish welding just because I think that will be easier to grind and clean and all of that other fun. So I'm going to cut the few tacks that are holding this piece onto the Tahoe and we're going to see how we do. Ah oh, man, the tack I put in this corner didn't hold up for crap. Oh well, I think it's all still solid enough that if I just clamp it back together we should be alright. I hope. We're gonna try it. Awesome! That is now a drop-in wheel well that just needs finishing. I've got for this week but to be honest I am really happy again with the progress I have gone through a million ideas about how to build that wheel well and that in particular finding something that's working it's coming together nicely it looks good it fits good all of those things I'm really excited to be moving on from worrying about those there's still tons of work to really get into but I know it's going to work now, so that's just really, really nice. Next week, we're going to aim to finish up that wheel well, get it installed, and see if maybe we can even look at a little work on the other side. If you've stuck around this long, don't forget to throw me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. It helps build the channel. I appreciate it, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.